Hello. This video presentation will show you how to add audio narration to a PowerPoint presentation you've created. Hopefully this will be helpful to those of you who decide to use PowerPoint as your method for your creating your individual final presentations for the end of the semester. Before you begin, you'll need a microphone or a headset with a microphone to capture the audio. Once you've created a PowerPoint, as I have here, you're ready to add your audio narration. So go up here to Slideshow and double click. Click on Record Narration. Set microphone level first. If the bar is green, that means you're good to go, so you can click OK. Once you are ready to start recording, you'll click OK, and it'll take you to your first slide, so you need to be ready to record right away. But if for any reason you're not satisfied with your recording and would like to edit, I'll show you in a second how to do that. Let's click OK to go to the first slide. Here I am at my first slide. I'll record the narration. And to move forward to the next slide, I'll just push the forward arrow on my keyboard. Here I am at my second slide, so I'll speak the narration for this. Move forward with the forward arrow. So on and so forth. Now let's say I want to re-record this slide. I didn't like the way it came out. I'll right-click and show and save. And as you can see here, there are timestamps for each slide. So it was the fifth slide. I didn't like the recording. So I'll go ahead and double click here. And what you'll see here is that there's a little icon of a speaker. If you click on that, it'll highlight it. And I want to delete it or backspace to get rid of that recording. Now I'll go back up to record narration, click. And then if I click OK, what'll happen is it'll ask me if I want to re-record the current slide or if I want to start from the very beginning and record over all the slides. Since I liked my first four slides and I want to edit this single slide, I'll select current slide. So it brings me back to that slide and begins recording right away. I'll move forward again with my forward arrow and so on and so forth. So let's say you get to the end of your presentation. You'll again, you'll end the show and you'll click on save. And let's pretend that I had gone through the whole presentation. I'm ready to save. So I'll go up and I'll save as a PowerPoint presentation. Where it says here save as type, I want to select PowerPoint show. You can do either um, the new Windows or the 97 2003 version as long as it's .pps. So I'll save that, and now my presentation is saved. And that's as easy as that. But if you have any questions with this method, um, please feel free to um, contact me, Ada. My contact information is on the Blackboard website. Good luck, and I'll be in contact soon. Bye-bye.